Hello there, my name's Claire and this is Stitch Hem. So thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Now today's video is a Friday Sews video. However, it's Sunday, so a bit late, I'm sorry. So today's video is a Sunday Sews. So it will take the usual format of a Friday Sews. Talking a little bit about sewing, hats and things that I've been buying, a little bit of life, etc., thrown in for good measure as well. So if that interests you, please stick around with me today. Now, as you all know, I'm sure by now, the hashtag Friday Sews was created by the fantastic Jen in today's Jen, today in Jen Sewing Room, as just a brilliant way of bringing the sewing community together. So if you're looking for other YouTubers, posting under the hashtag just type that into YouTube and you will find a whole host of us all putting out Friday Sews content. So before I get started I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching my previous videos, everyone that likes and comments and subscribes. I really really do does mean the world to me. I know that in December I was a little bit absent so it's been great to see a little flurry of new subscribers from the last few videos that I've put out so thank you so much and thank you to everybody that takes the time to comment as well I really do appreciate it often I'll put out you know a question about you know something I might be struggling with or um, pattern suggestions and things like that and you guys are always so so helpful and always give me such great ideas as well and I really do appreciate it. and I love hearing what you guys might be sewing up and just just sort of general sewing chit chat it's just fantastic so thank you so so much um and last week i was talking about the fact that my local sewing shop uh, was closing and one of the things that i would miss the most is the fact that there wouldn't be anywhere local particularly that i could go and um pattern uh, sorry thread match and i was thinking about buying uh, one of the gutterman um cards that have got all the threads on um, and a few of you came back to me in relation to that and saying how good they were so thank you so so much um, but the lovely Marcia um, contacted me on Instagram to say that she'd got the one of the ones that were just um, they weren't the actual threads on the cards um, they were just sort of uh, almost like a paint card um, if you like of the thread colours and she didn't find that the, they were particularly a close match however she then contacted me a few days later to say that she'd found a real thread um, match card on a particular website um, and she was very kind enough to share that to me and she's then come back to me again um, to let me know that actually that's come through in the post for her and she's finding it really useful and she thinks it's going to be really good. So that was so, so kind of you, Marcy. I do really, really appreciate people sort of taking the time out of their day to, to help me with these things. So thank you. And I will certainly be buying one of those as well. So and I'll obviously I will show it to you when I um, get it and I will link the website and things below in the description notes as well. So, yeah, just a great big thank you. Thank you so much. Right, sorry if I keep looking down, but I've made a few notes. I often don't do that <laughs> when I'm doing Friday sews, um, but this week um, <laughs> I just felt it was necessary. And so sorry if I look down occasionally, but I just want to make sure that I sort of cover everything. So uh, in terms of sewing this week, I've continued to make some progress on the Parker coat. I'm not quite sure where I'd got up to last week, but uh here is the coat as so far so i still need to attach the poppers to the button placket i think i'd got to the point where i'd done the the front and the back i don't think i had the collar on last week and I, I certainly don't think i had the hood now the hood's got a lining on it um and that zips off so that's all that that's new uh, i've got the sleeves in um, inside I've taken the time to um, French seam the uh, the sides or I've sort of uh, double turned down the back here all the inside of the zip the pattern gets you to do this is all um, got 
uh, twill tape get running down and things. So it's all very quite a nice construction and I didn't want to do overlocking on this so I've sort of taken my time with doing the seams and things. So this is getting really close to finishing. I need to put like the cuff bits on the sleeves and then they've got like little tab bits as well so that all needs to go on. I need to do the bottom bit like the hemming and then I think that's got like a little sort of drawstring on for your classic parka and then on the inside um, again there's a sort of inside uh, drawstring which I think you put on you put some twill tape on on the inside which then kind of makes your um, drawstring element if you like somewhere to put the drawstring but I haven't quite got to that bit yet so I, I haven't don't quite know so that's all coming together quite nicely oh and I've also popped one of those little sort of hanging chains on as well that doesn't come in the pattern but I thought it would be a good added extra so yeah all coming together quite nicely so really quite pleased with that one so that's sort of the main bit of sewing that I've done this week I have done one other little thing and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit um, and you'll understand why when I do. Um, this week, I, I spoke last week about the fact that I was going to be going to a sewing social that the lovely Catherine from Soverton Makery was running in the village of Overton, which is in Hampshire, which is not a huge um, distance from where I, I live. And um, so I'd arranged that I was going to go along to that as well. And then I got in contact with the lovely Adam from Adam Sews to say, was he going along? Initially, he, he wasn't, um, but then he was able to. So that was brilliant. And he actually came and picked me up, which was just so kind of him. And we had such a giggle in the car on the way there. Um, spoke about sewing, but probably a, a small amount was spoken about sewing, just general life chit chat. And um, he picked me up in his brand new car, which was lovely, um, had heated seats which was most appreciated on the very cold evening that we went and he very skillfully managed to park right outside the um, village hall as well so that was very handy um, and we went in and we'd arrived a little bit before it started to help Catherine with the setup although to be fair to her she'd done most of it anyway but we did help with a few extension leads and things um, and we we took some photos and things so I'll pop those in of us. Um, we had such a lovely time so thank you to Catherine for um, hosting it. It's something that she's doing once a month so I'm looking forward to it next month as well and um, yeah it's just so nice being around other people that were socially sewing. Uh, I was glad that I'd taken along a project where I didn't necessarily have to think that much about it because you know, when you're chatting <laughs> you don't necessarily want something that's really involved so I didn't work on the coat. I'd actually planned and this I planned before I knew that Adam was going to go along to sew up one of the pouches that Adam by Adam's design so <laughs> I said to him when I realised that he was going to be coming along that I'm going to end up looking like some sort of mega super fan or something a little embarrassing but I didn't have time to rethink about what I was doing. So he did say that it was a little bit weird seeing someone sew up his pattern and he was probably thinking, why is she doing it like that? She's doing it all wrong. But he was very kind. And uh, he, didn't, he didn't mention the things that he probably felt that I wasn't doing quite how he thought the pattern should be. Um, so I, as I say, I made one of his pouches. So I, I made the medium size when I was there. Um, this is one that I made a couple of weeks ago. This is the large size. This is the medium and then there's a, a slightly smaller size as well. So yeah, it's a really cute pattern and this um, fabric is a um, canvas fabric from by Graziella. So yeah, a really lovely cute pattern. Um, and the other thing that Adam did, and this wasn't just for me, this was for everyone, he had um, printed off a load of his slipper patterns and popped um, those on the uh, table where everybody was um, sitting. There was a number of different tables and he put one out for everybody so that was so lovely and I'm super looking forward to giving this pattern a go very very soon. Um, also just to say a really big 
thank you to everybody else that was at the sewing social it was really lovely to chat to other people as well i'm sorry if i didn't um circulate very much or i didn't speak to people that much um i did find it a little bit weird because it's all very new to me that people might know who i am but i don't know who they are um because perhaps they watch my channel so i'm sorry if i didn't come across very well um i will i promise to be a little bit more um i don't know to to speak to people more and and, and just be a little bit better next time I, I don't know i guess i felt a little bit overwhelmed i don't really know why looking back on it because everybody was wonderful but i hope you don't think that i was rude or anything um and i will do better at the next one but yeah just a massive thank you to catherine because it was just so great to be around like-minded people that were doing sewing or other people had brought um other needle crafts or uh knitting and crochet and that sort of thing so just a lovely brilliant evening the other social sort of sewing thing that i did was i had a bit of a catch up with the lovely adele from sofa serenity on a zoom call and we sewed and chatted and just caught up um adele and i did a collaboration well over a year, about a year ago i guess now and that's how we got to know each other through social media through youtube and we've been friends ever since and you know every so often we, we catch up with each other and things so yeah that was lovely too so a lovely week of sort of socially more social sewing which is lovely so in terms of sort of sewing that i've done that's that's it um but obviously the coat has been relatively sort of time consuming uh, and I've been taking my time and obviously because I haven't been overlooking any seams I've been um, either French seaming or sort of sort of double turning and stitching that you know everything has taken a little bit longer but I'm absolutely fine with that and I as I said, said last week I have actually been really enjoying it so I have got a couple of things to show you last week I mentioned that I bought some fabric for my son um but it hadn't arrived yet so that's arrived in the post it was a remnant piece although albeit quite a large remnant piece of over a meter and a half i think and it's this um french terry spidey friends um fabric because he absolutely loves this um program and i thought that i would make him a hoodie from it it will be a sort of a belated birthday present and i'm sure he'll really really like that one now what else have i got to tell you oh actually whilst i was at the sewing social they um catherine had also arranged sort of a swaps table so i took along a couple of bits of fabric a few patterns and a few other little sort of sewing um haberdashery type items that i either had i didn't need or i had already had an, one of or something like that and whilst I was there I picked up this which is just the hemline bobbin box I believe this was one that Catherine brought along because she already had one I think she'd got this in her um, beyond the pink door advent calendar but she already had one sorry if the light's glaring on that a little bit so that was another thing and then a little while ago I asked my dad who is into woodworking etc um carving and wood turning and just sort of general woodwork he's very good at sort of turning his hand to these things about whether he could make me a, a clapper for pressing seams and i'd asked him a while ago and i think he'd sort of forgotten about it so i happened to mention it the other day and then i don't know less than a week later he had come over for my son's birthday i gave my son some presents and then i got a couple of presents so I'd sent him some pictures of two different types of clappers. One with just sort of a, more of a straight block and one with um, a bit on the top. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It just expecting him to pick one of them. Well, anyway, I got two. <laughs> so I've got this gorgeous one here that is more of a sort of a simple design. It's got a bit of a groove for you to hold on to. And yeah, he's made this out of a piece of wood that was a old kitchen worktop 
and that was obviously a solid wood worktop but you know the whole sort of frugality of that I think that is just brilliant so that's great and then this one is more of this type of design I don't know what you call this bit at the top um, but yes yeah, so kind of him to knock those out in his woodworking workshop in very speedy amount of time and um, yeah really really grateful to him and they're just lovely and I just I love the feel of sort of wooden things they're really tactile aren't they it's a bit like feeling fabric isn't it there's a certain sort of you know you just want to pick it up and touch it so they're just really lovely items and it'll always mean sort of something special to me because he made them rather than me sort of buying them so just lovely um what else have i got to tell you uh i think really my what my plans are for the, the week ahead really i am um, i'm hopefully going to have a, another zoom sewing social with the lovely marissa from the umbrian sewist uh, I was meant to have one this week, but I double booked myself on a couple of nights. I don't know what went wrong with my diary this week, um, <laughs> but hope uh, Marissa was very kind. So don't worry about it and we'll do it again next week. So hopefully a sewing social with her. I'm hoping to, fingers crossed, if I get enough time in the week to finish that coat. Now I've got to do the, as I say, the, the cuffs, put the, poppers on which is always slightly scary although I have got the prim vario pliers which does make life a lot easier um, I need to do the bottom bit and put the uh, the drawstring in at the the top and the bottom of the coat so fingers crossed I might just pull that off this week that would just be yeah it'd be great to finish that one. Oh, and it needs poppers on like the hood bit um, that comes around the front like, to close it off at the front as well so yeah fingers crossed that should work and then I would I'm looking at making a bag like a hold or like a weekend you know sized type bag and I've got some more of this fabric and I yeah I'm looking to make a hold or now I think I'm going to use the weekender bag which is a sew over it pattern but I'm going to do change it up slightly because I want to do it in a sort of a quilted style. Now I was talking to the lovely Adam from Adam Sews about the fact that I was thinking about making a hold and I wanted to do it sort of as a quilted style and should I use fusible fleece um, for the inside and he said no if you're going to do like that style of bag you want to do um, foam because otherwise it will just all sort of collapse in on itself because of the size of it so um i said oh okay where do i get that and he said well i buy it sort of in quite large quantities because um obviously he makes bags and things uh, to sell on his online shop and so he very kindly said uh well how much do you think you're gonna need and i said well I guess I need depending on how wide it is and he said well it's quite wide about a metre and a half wide or something and I said oh well, I think I'll only need a metre then so he's very kindly obviously I've paid him some money for it but he's dropped that foam round for me which is just so kind of him he always comes to my rescue bless him he's such a nice guy um and so yeah that would be really nice to sort of perhaps make a start on that if I get chance but I think I'd like to focus on getting the coat done. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've definitely been taking my time. I haven't rushed it, but it would be nice <laughs> to do some sewing for me. <laughs> uh, is that really selfish? Um, <laughs> no, um, but as I say, it has been an enjoyable sew, but yeah, it would be nice to get on to doing some sewing for me. Another thing that I've got in my mind to do if I don't start on the bag is that I would like to start on the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress um, a sort of a wearable twirl that I'm looking at but I think I'm leaning towards the bag I think anyway we'll see what happens during the week so those are my plans for the week ahead so all that's really left for me is to say goodbye but I really hope you have a fantastic week in sewing. I hope you manage to fit some sewing in. I hope you keep well and 
you, you stay away from those coldy bugs that are definitely doing the rounds at the moment. But until next time, take care. Happy sewing. Bye bye. Thank you.